The federal eviction moratorium set to expire in just a few hours, leaving millions of people who depended on it throughout the pandemic worried about what may happen next. The night team's John Paul Barajas spoke to a man who says he may soon be homeless. He also spoke with City about assistance they're offering. The CDC's ban on evictions throughout this pandemic has come to an end. It was put into place in September, extended a month at the end of June, and now after a failed attempt by the Biden administration to extend it again, it's leaving millions scrambling. You have another place to stay? No, no, I ain't got no place to go. That's the thing. I don't, I don't have my vehicle no more. Uh, it broke, so now I ain't got it. Um, so I don't know how I can get my stuff, or me, anywhere. You know, um, no, I ain't got nowhere to go. It's kind of, kind of sucks. Ezekiel Moreno says if he doesn't find help, he'll be living on the streets. He hasn't been served an eviction notice just yet, but he's already been given notice. His lease will not be renewed. He's behind on about four months of rent. There's all the payments out. See, there's February, March, May. Moreno's not alone. According to a recent Census Bureau study, from late June to early July, more than 600,000 Texas households said they were behind on rent payments. Why have you been behind on rent? And uh, lack of employment um, and just not being able to go to work. He explains he worked for a construction company in Austin. Once his truck broke down, he wasn't able to make it to his job. Now he's praying he can get rental assistance from the state or the city. There's so much money allotted for this pandemic, for the evictions and all that, but yet they didn't hand it out in time. Moreno's referring to the hundreds of millions of dollars given to states in emergency rental assistance. That's why he's applying for help with Texas Rent Relief. But the city of San Antonio has assistance available as well. The director of Neighborhoods and Housing Services Department sent us this statement that reads in part, we are tracking eviction filings closely to see if there's an increase after today while continuing to actively promote the emergency housing assistance program since help is available. Well, those who qualify for the city's assistance program can get help for up to nine months. And right now they still have up to $45 million available. We'll have a link on our website if you need to apply. John Paul Barajas, KSAT 12 News.